I've never met anyone like James before. I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat in a herd of walkers, I'd call them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot nanny before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. <laughs> what the hell is a hoot nanny? <laughs> it's just another way of saying party. I know it sounds strange throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be our last chance. Mm. I wanted to make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. I'm gonna make the deck, uh, the decor... Decoration. A decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. What's his name? Beat Nick. <laughs> That's funny. Do you even get what the joke is? <laughs> no. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay, be right there. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them, like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him, too. I think there's something wrong with me. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a good person. Am I good? I want to be better, Clem. Let people know I'm good just by my face. You're the best, okay? I'm getting real smart. <laughs> is that right? Yes because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay, what are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah, the older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. Well, first, it would suck, like, Big time. And then I'd have to nom nom eat you, little boy. <laughs> Stop. <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll. Run away as fast as... No. 
No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not leaving you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? You don't mean that. I want to be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> You can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. Hey, little man. Hi, Louis. I'm going on patrol. So, patrolling's a thing? Mm-hmm. Patrolling's a thing. I was wondering... Well, I can't help but thinking... <sighs> you shot that raider who grabbed me, but... You saw them take Violet, too. Which means... You could have saved Violet and not me. Why? Why would you pick me? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have picked me. Hell, I don't know anyone who would have picked me. Well, I didn't really have time to think. I just made a split-second decision. I know I'm always teasing her. Trying to get her to do that one eye roll she does. You know the one. Where it's like, you're such a dumbass, she has to do a full body eye roll. I do it because... When I actually do manage to make her laugh, it's worth it. If I needed her, she'd be there. Meet Cleaver in hand, ready to chop someone in half if it meant protecting me. We're going to get them back, Lewis. Yeah, damn right we will. Actually, um, that's... <laughs> that's not the only reason I dropped by. Ruby's whole party idea kind of made me realize something. What are you doing? Well, I figured since we might die tomorrow and never get to go on a real date... I thought we could. Damn it. Have one now. I promise I'll keep it short so we can finish getting things ready for tomorrow. <laughs> but I mean, nothing's wrong with short and sweet, right? Let's do it. I never thought I'd get to go on a date, ever. Really? Never? Have you met you? End of the world or not, someone would have at least tried to sweep you off your feet. <laughs> all right, all right. What? It's true. What do you know about dating, anyway? I'll have you know, I found some magazines in the headmaster's office that had some very interesting things to say about the dating world. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, like, it said you can tell a lot about someone based on what they look for in a partner. You know, brains, brawn, dashing good looks, great sense of humor, that sort of thing. <laughs> Shh. 
Sure, I guess. What, uh, what would you say your thing is? That you look for in a guy? If you had to pick. Oh, dashing good looks, no question. Well, luckily I've got plenty of those. Is that why you told me you liked me? You using me for my looks? Huh, I guess we'll never know. I think that deserves a toast. A toast? Don't those usually come at the end? Hey, I warned you I'd make this quick. So, what do you say? To our last night alive. How about to bringing everyone home? Yeah, I think I prefer that one too. So, I'll see you over there? Hey, Clem! <laughs> wow. Where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up, and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. <laughs> I should start heading back to the admin building. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> back! Think fast. Ouch! <laughs> I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? You gonna play the piano all night? Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Red. Definitely red. I'll make it happen. Look, check this out. When you turn that crank there, it plays music. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. Wouldn't happen to have any good jazz records, would you? Oh, yeah. The old music teacher was a big fan. Pretty cool guy up until he ditched us all. What's jazz sound like? It'll make sense when you hear it. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. See you on the other side. That's what Clem says to me sometimes when she needs me to be brave. Well, I think we all need some of that right now. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem! Check it out! I found a bunch of books on ships! There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff! The key is the boiler! Wait! 
What are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. Uh, is it me, or is there a bit of a bomb obsession at this school? Oh, it's not you. There totally is. But for good reason! The tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. How about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah, I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay. And it's settled. <laughs> I found them. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And how we got stuck here for as long as we did. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Well, not to speak ill of the dead, but that sounds exactly like Marlin. Yeah, I guess it does, but no, wasn't him. That's Ruby's file. <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Our sweet Ruby here was kind of a nightmare when she first showed up. Ooh. She once chased the home ec teacher around the yard with a barbecue fork this big. No way. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, that little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Dude, no. Chronic masturbation. Willie, I speak for all of us when I say nobody has ever, ever wanted to know that. What does that mean? Ah, uh -uh, don't you dare.
Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? Oh, I've all kind of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Put on the classical stuff. how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar? Erin. She had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Violet's. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's not great. I was hoping you'd tell me. So, my family was stupid rich. Parents gave me everything I wanted, when I wanted it. Except for one thing, singing lessons. God, I begged my dad, told him I wanted to be a real musician. But all he said was, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. Can't be both. I know now that he was just trying to teach me a dumb dad lesson, but I hated him for that. So I decided I'd teach him a lesson. I thought, I'll break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? So I broke into my dad's credit card accounts and made all these purchases in his name. Did this for over a year. This is how rich we were. He never noticed he was spending a fortune on a mistress that I'd made up for him. But I made sure my mom did. Sent her all the receipts for the hotel rooms, the jewelry, all of it. They had a fight all night long. He denied it. She wouldn't have it. I sat in the corner and cried to help it feel more real. When their divorce was final, I told them the truth. I said, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. You don't get to be both. You know? Those two would have been happily married forever, but then I had to go be a vindictive fuckhead. I came here the week after. I can see by your face you regret it. They said we were bad people, Clem. They weren't wrong. Still, none of us deserve to be ditched out here in the middle of the forest by the people that were supposed to make us better. Sorry, this was supposed to be fun. I guess I'm not really a game person. Don't beat yourself up. You said it yourself. Clem needs to know who she's leading into battle. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Of course I remember. I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, she could sing the words, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, Ten. for you, Minnie.
Hey, sweet pea. Lee? Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Uh, couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Yeah? Well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I'm gonna need some now. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now. And I've been in... So many. And they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends. And getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. But what if I can't? I'm so scared for my friends, Lee. Scared that I'll... I'll let them down. It's normal to be scared. Hell, it'd be strange if you weren't. But you can't let it get to you. Imagine how Violet will feel when she finds out you came to rescue her. You'll have given her hope again. <sighs> oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A boy who thinks the world of you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again, when you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. Lee, I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. <sighs> I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanted to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's 
changed completely. <laughs> oh my god, Lee. AJ's trouble sometimes. He wouldn't believe it. And he has no idea. He's growing up too fast. <laughs> Sounds like someone else I know. city you know I told you to avoid those they don't no one goes into the cities anymore it's an old boarding school in the woods miles from anywhere with no adults at all no adults it works I promise time to go Clementine you've got people that need you Goodbye, Lee. Clem, wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. <laughs> 